Okay, in the last video, what I did is I showed you a stretch. Um, you stretch to work to loosen up the spine so your spine will actually move in that proper curve. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to show you an exercise that's going to strengthen, once you get that curve there, it's going to strengthen all the muscles around that curve. And again, that's going to be important to hold this into place, and then your ligaments will start to tighten up around that curve. So, what you do is, again, you're going to use this little neck roll. These are coming, coming in handy. Uh, you're going to use, use the neck roll or the towel or the swim noodle, whatever it is that you're using. The difference is from the stretch when you're laying on your back with this behind it, you're actually going to flip over in your stomach. And you're going to put this neck roll right between your eyes. And then what you're going to do is you're going to put, let, your, let your neck just kind of push forward towards the table or towards your bed. And as it collapses forward, you might even lift your chin up a little bit, but as it collapses forward just like that, then you're going to contract. It's, a, it's an isometric contraction. You're not straining. You're not blowing out a blood vessel or anything like that. It's not going to be a very hard contraction. But it's just a nice soft contraction that's going to hold, uh, it's going to contract the muscles around that curve. Now, I'm going to show you that right now. So you put this down on your bed, on your pillow. Put it right between your eyes, and then the, the most important part is you're going to take your hand and you're going to feel the back of your neck right here, and you're going to feel your spine like this, and when you go forward, collapse forward, you're going to feel that curve collapse forward. If you do not feel that curve, don't do it. I've had patients who've had a reverse curve where it's going the opposite direction, going back that way, and when they push down, they didn't feel it collapse forward, but they still contracted the muscles. What that's doing is that's actually um, slowing down the whole process. It's actually stabilizing that reverse curve. You don't want to do that. If you have questions about this, if you don't feel like you're getting it, come into the office and demonstrate it for us. That way we can guide you and make sure you're doing it right. So here's what you do. You have this between your, right between your eyes. You have your other hand behind your neck. You, you watch it collapse forward. And then you contract your muscles. What I do is I hold that contraction for five seconds. You go five seconds and then you relax. And then you do it again. Collapse, contract, five seconds. I do five sets of five. If you do that every single day, what that's going to do is going to stabilize is you're going to increase that curve a lot faster, a whole lot faster. So again, five seconds, relax. Then do five seconds, relax. What's going to happen is once you develop that good muscle memory that's going to know what position that curve is, and once you develop that good muscle memory to contract in that position, you'll be able to do it while you're sitting. You'll be able to do it while you're standing, while you're laying, while you're, while you're walking. You'll be able to do it in all these other positions because you have that muscle memory in your neck. But again, this exercise is going to be really crucial to restoring that curve back, giving you that shock absorption that's going to help protect your spine, protect your discs, protect your nerves. So work on this. Again, this is something you'll continue to do. Most of the things, as you know, that I recommend, that we recommend for you is you'll continue to do this the rest of life because most of our life we're going to be on our laptops. Most of our life we're going to have our head forward, which causes all of these things to lose all these things. So this will counteract all of those things, those da the damage that we've done for years. So work on that. If you, again, if you have any questions at all, come into the office. We'll go over it with you. Make sure you're doing it right. Thank you.